Okay. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Hello, Tom. How are you? Hello, Spider. How are you? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday today, right? Happy Tuesday. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. This is FX Passion broadcasting you live on Trading View. If this is your first time, everybody, what we are trying to do here, <clears throat> we are trying to build the three pillars of a beginner trader. Okay, this is Forex Trader Course 101. It's for beginners. So we are trying to build a strategy and or a system. Number two, we are trying to understand how risk management works inside our strategy and or system. And the big one, you know, step by step, we are trying to understand how our psychology affects our decision making, you know, our risk management and our strategy. And we are trying to do this with all of these modules. Today's lesson six, we are still in the basic model, learning market structure, highs and lows, trends. And remember, 90% of traders lose money in the Forex market worldwide. Risk disclaimer, the webinars are not trading or investment advice, everybody. The webinars are for educational purposes only. Either way, don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose. For questions, oh, I have a question, you know, or homeworks, trading view house rules apply. Okay, you can contact me in private chat or down below the video, you have the signature field. And please do allow 72 hours, okay? And never forget, having two skills is better than one. And having three skills is better than two, especially in times of uncertainty. And trading is a learnable skill. Okay, everybody, that being said, let's dive into the charts. Let's dive into the charts. So tell me, everybody, tell me a pair and maybe trading, you know, that you are maybe analyzing, that you are maybe curious, you know. And remember, everybody, first comes, first is served, okay? The first one who is going to type in the chat the currency pair and the time frame, okay? We're going to address this one first what we have to talk about. And then, you know, if we have time, we're going to check the other currency pair and other time frame. Okay. And everybody, did you do the homeworks? Did you do the homeworks from previous classes? You know, buddy, are you in the homeworks? There is no right or wrong. You know, you can say yes, you can say no, <laughs> you know. No, I didn't do the homeworks. I didn't have time. It's okay. You know, it's okay. But this is a course, you know. This is a course. Okay. How to spot and identify uptrends and downtrends before we trade them. Okay. Now, we clarified in the previous lessons, you know, what makes an uptrend, right? What makes an uptrend? Everybody are the highs and the lows, right? So this would be a low, this would be a high, this would be a low, and this would be a high. And we have a true properly draw trend lines. You know, we have a trend line, let's change color, something like this. So Moving forward, trying to upgrade your knowledge, everybody. Now, talking about the, not talking about the trend. So, when you have a low, this trend is 25% confirmed. Make sense? 25. And clone, and when you have the first high, this uptrend is 50% confirmed. Make sense? And clone one more time. When you have the second higher low, you have a 75% confirmed trend. Not the trade, the trend. And finally, one last time, clone. When the market makes a higher high, now we have a 100% confirmed trend. Make sense, everybody? So, so 
25, 50, 75, 100, okay? So what makes a trend from the previous lessons? You know, what is an uptrend, right? So one more time. Uptrend. What is the definition of the uptrend? You know, you have inner trader uptrend where the market made too low minimum when the market made from where the market is not the market made right where the market made two lows and two highs where the second low and the second high are higher high low and like this and like this and like this and like this okay okay the definition of an uptrend where the market made minimum it can, it can have more right you can have 20 to 100 to 1000 highs and lows if you want but what is an uptrend the definition of the uptrend where the market made minimum two lows and two highs like in here where the second low, you know, and the second high are, are uh, the first high needs to be a higher high or a lower high is also okay. Thank you, Spider. No, a lower high is not okay. Great question. A lower high is not okay in an uptrend. Make sense? Is anybody in here who's, who does not agree with this definition? You know, is there anyone here who does not agree? No, this is not an uptrend in my opinion. An uptrend is something different. You know, is anybody in here? Okay, now, easy stuff, right? Nothing so special. Well, if this is an uptrend, what is a downtrend then? Well, same story, just in the opposite direction. We are going to have two highs we're going to have a trend line that is going to confirm you know something like this okay we are going to have two highs and toes and we can clone right clone and double click so we're going to change here downtrend downtrend where the market made minimum two lows and two highs where the second low and the second high are are lower right not higher lower lower i need to quiet my phone but they started already right they are calling and messaging and second high and lower uh low and the second high and lower high so two highs and two lows where the second low and the second high are lower highs and lower lows right lower high and the lower low spider is saying would you please draw the preceding high prior to the first high you are smart you are smart there are none spider this is how great question everybody this is how trends start everybody and this is why we as beginner traders are losing money time to time everybody do you understand spider's question spider's question you know not everything is an uptrend and not everything is a downtrend great question spider would you please draw the preceding high to the first high there there are none everybody you don't have an up high okay and this is why everybody remember the very first class we were teaching you we were talking about the market structure technical market structure it was the monthly remember it was the monthly chart right we are on usdcad right now you know monthly chart 
technical market structure and we were talking about how the forex how the forex this would be the lower band you know and this would be the upper band spider where is the where is the low it's the same situation just a different question where is the low prior to this low there are none prior to this low or when the downtrend starts everybody you know where is the high prior to the first high up in here there aren't everybody can you see missing make sense spider and everybody else okay don't worry everybody we are going to explain to you everything let's go back to the drawings i believe it was 15 minute chart okay we are here okay everybody does this make sense to you what is the trend what is an up trend what is a downtrend everybody so one more time is anybody here who does not agree with this definition like oh no the downtrend is something different hello Pesigo, how are you welcome okay so this is an uptrend this is a downtrend okay now let's talk about trading everybody right so what is this everybody then we're going to check the charts hello kovascu how are you everybody what is this is this an uptrend is this a downtrend so we have a high and we have a low right what is this is this is a downtrend what is this one It's just a down move. Well, looking here, 25. So, one more time, everybody. When you have just a high, the downtrend is at 25%, right? When you have the first low, the downtrend, which is this first move, you know, it's a downtrend it's at 50 percent not confirmed yet okay so yeah it's a down move you are absolutely correct okay now what is this so the market closes like this you know what about now what is this one yes spider 50 percent downtrend what about now, everybody? What is this? Is this an uptrend? Is this a downtrend? Should we short? Should we go long? Should we buy? Should we sell? What should we do? What is this one? You have a high, you have a low, and you have the first lower high. glances wait okay now you know what about now what is this what is this everybody what is this Pesego retrace from the a retrace from down move we have no confirmation yet lower high is not confirmed 100 percent downtrend okay now now we have a confirmed downtrend okay so what should we do schnock says downtrend yes should we go short or should we, should we go long short or long in here buy the market sell the market what should we do market and go long or should we sell the market and go short let's make a pull everybody what you're going to do 
short on retracement. So you are expecting the market to do Everybody? Short? So you're expecting something like this and then short the market? Something like this? In the meantime, everybody type in the chat a currency pair and a time frame that you are maybe trading, that you are maybe analyzing. Okay. Maya says, everybody, we have different traders saying different things, right? Somebody wants to go long, somebody wants to go short. I think we still don't have proofs that it's in a downtrend, really. Well, not true. Not true. This is a downtrend by definition. But look, yes, there is more to this, you know. You know, there is more to this, you are correct. But by definition, this is a downtrend, you know. So let's address first the trader who wants to go, you know, I'm a beginner trader and I'm in a habit of shorting the market, you know. And the mar I'm going to enter on the next retracement, something like this, you know. I'm going to enter on the next retracement and, you know, I'm going to lose. Why did I lose? That changed colors, huh? What did I lose, everybody? It's a tricky question for the beginner traders. You know, oh, I shorted a downtrend. Well, you know, maybe yes, maybe not. Oh, but passion, those are the rules that you wrote. Yes, calm down. Calm down, open the ears, open your thinking head, and let's learn, right? You know, so I lost, right? Why did I lose? Schlock is right, you know, there is more to this. So first, the traders who want to short the market, you know, what did I lose? Because what I was thinking that is a downtrend, you know, maybe it was not, you know, it was just a down retracement. Make sense, everybody? So on the chart, looks like this, the market is going to make higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, and then it's going to do something like this, everybody. And because I am not scared, enough all right because i'm a beginner trader and because i am not skilled enough i'm going to open my charting software my trading platform and the only thing that i'm going to spot and identify is this red one here and on the smaller time frame you know and i'm going to listen to various videos you know looking at streams learn you know and most likely, you know, most of the teachers, mentors are going to say most likely, you know, maybe a little bit different vocabulary, but say this is a downtrend and it is, you know, this is a downtrend, you know, but this downtrend, you know, was not a downtrend at all, you know, makes sense, everybody? lessons if you watch the previous recordings you know what we learned is that not all highs and lows are relevant okay so this downtrend you know i will do the same right as a beginner trader makes sense to me i would lose once i would lose twice i would start to think well you know not that the broker is against me you know or the market is after me but well something is wrong you know and this is the reason why we lose on the smaller time everybody we are going to check the charts in a second you know so i could be trading this downtrend and it is a downtrend make no mistake but this downtrend for the beginner trader is what we learned already what is this this is a short-term downtrend 
which is a structural part of the overall uptrend. Passion, can you repeat, please? Yes, sir. This short-term downtrend is a structural part of the overall uptrend, meaning this downtrend is, in other words, is an up retracement. Make sense, everybody? Just an example. Okay, let's write this down. You know, oh, you never told us this. Aha, uh -huh, you know. So, you know, the red, the red, you know, the red lines, the red lines, you know, this short, short term downtrend the short term downtrend is structural part of the overall uptrend okay meaning is a is an up retracement up retracement that's a man up retracement the red lines everybody and basically saying the market always followed the higher time frame yes sir that says how do you account for intra time frame volatility stemming from excursion distribution or overspression that chart i have no idea what you are talking about my friend the efficacy of your drawing are entirely dependent on how long they have been active a variably you are actively overlooking well not true we are learning theory and then we are looking the charts okay this is not true but i have no idea about intra time frame volatility stemming okay i have no clue what is this this ago it can be called the bullish lecture right well not confuse apples with bananas everybody Okay, we're talking about downtrends. Okay, flag is something different, like, you know, like this would be a flag, right? Something like this. And that chart, you know, maybe these lessons are too easy for you. We are in the beginner course, my friend. Okay. Long, long, long away from volatility, exhaustion, distribution, or overexpansion. Okay, everybody. This is a beginner's course. Talking about the flags, you know, you have this kind of flag, you know, you have this kind. Focus here to the lesson, everybody. Okay. This kind of flag, you know, you have this kind of flag. Basically, I would say no, okay? Not to confuse everybody, we are talking about the short-term downtrend, long-term downtrend. So, in the same goes in a downtrend, you know, the market's going to do something like this, you know, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, and then the market's going to start to do something like this. And we as beginner traders, what we're going to do? Everybody, come on, downtrend line, you know. I'm a beginner trader, you know, I'm going to open the 15 minute chart or something, you know, and I would be focusing only on this. Just give me a second, everybody. <clears throat>
Okay, everybody, sorry about that. Oh, let's see. Spider, we should focus on the agenda only baby step at one time, please. Sure, no problem. Schmlock, we can see strong support line, so blue line can't go down. We shouldn't focus on one time frame with our maybe 30 minutes or 50 minutes. Understand situation now. Yes, later. Also, we have a lot of indicators, RSI, MACD, etc., but it is not for beginners, I think. Sure. Schmlock, you are correct. We are going step by step. This is lesson six today. I think we should edge the way he wants, considering that it's a beginner course. I'm sure all of the advanced stuff will be taught in due to time. Yes, sir. Please let him continue. He's doing a great job. Thank you very much. No, no, no problem. No, you can also, professional traders can talk to me. You know, no problem. But we are going to follow the beginner's agenda, everybody. Okay. So, any questions so far about uptrend, downtrend definitions? Everybody, any questions about uptrend, downtrend? Why are we losing as beginner traders? So, USD CAD, just an example, everybody. USD CAD, 15 minute chart, everybody. This is the chart, right? So, this is what we see. Okay, tell me, everybody. Should we buy the uptrend or should we the downtrend? Everybody, that chart, this question is for you, my friend. USD cat 15 minute chart. Should we buy the uptrend? Should we sell the downtrend? Everybody, what should we do? Yes, we are going to learn everything, but step by step, right? Don't worry, FX Spider. I am the boss here, you know. So don't worry. Everybody, let's buy or let's. So I'm a beginner trader. I'm looking at USD CAD 15 minute chart, right? I want to make some pips and money on the demo account. What should I do? Everybody, should we buy? Should we sell? Should we go long? Should we go short? I'm a beginner trader and I'm trying to make sense out of this, right? So I'm going to compress the chart, you know, and you know, then says short to so check the higher time frame for market structure. Well, today we are just talking about trends, okay? I'm a beginner trader, you know, and I want to trade trends, right? So then says short. Okay, short. So somebody wants to short the market, right? Anybody here who wants to go along on this chart? I can compress the chart too, right? Something like this. Should check the higher time frame. Okay. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to use the definition, everybody, and we are going to use the trend lines, okay? Make sense, everybody? Can you see how theory is done? You have the first low or you have the first high in a downtrend where the market's making lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, okay? So, what we are going to do, everybody, we are going to connect the highs and the lows, okay? So high to low, low to high, high to low, low to high, high to low, low to high, you know, high to low, high to low, low to high, high to low, low to high, high to low, you know, most of them high to low, low to high, something like this, 
you know now can you see the chart everybody this is theory in here and this is not the market you know and I'm going to do something different. Can you see everybody the short term uptrend in here? And prior to the short term uptrend, what was the market doing? And what do we do as beginner traders, right? So this is the downtrend, then the market changed something like this, right? Green, maybe different color, like orange, you know? See everybody, this was a chart a few hours ago. We are on USD cat and see spider, your question talking about trends. Do you see this first high? There are no highs prior to this one. So this would be the first. And we're going to learn everybody to. Okay. Can you see everybody? I'm going to even to extend my downtrend line. Now, this was the market a few, a few hours ago. What? we would do as beginner traders most likely in here what is the market telling you is this orange line is this an uptrend is this a downtrend see everybody this is theory up in here we're talking about how we lose as beginner traders you know the red lines up in here the short-term trend the short-term downtrend is a structural part of the overall uptrend meaning it's an up retracement but this is the live market right now so they says short sorry i pronounced wrongly your name not dance days they say short the market you know and so now the market is doing something different right like this is anybody here who wants to go long so now here is the question right i want to look at now the question is what part so those are the questions everybody okay the thinking process okay thinking process number one long or short number two what pattern okay what pattern in this lesson we're talking about downtrend slash uptrend okay and number three what is the okay so this says short okay number two what pattern are we shorting what a downtrend or a short-term downtrend what are we shorting because you can compress the chart everybody you know compress the chart right compress the chart and from the previous lessons right market structure right extension retracement extension is this a lower low yes it's a lower low so you know usd cat 15 minute chart you know this would be the first extension leg remember everybody from the previous lessons every currency pair uh, on every time frame has its own market structure and has its own short-term trend so extension retracement 
extension, right? Made a lower low. So change colors, something like this, right? And we have another retracement in here. Orange. So when we are shorting everybody, we need to be clear what are we so number one longer short short, you know. And number two, what pattern? What pattern are we shorting? But why what pattern, everybody? What's the difference? The stop loss level is the difference. Anybody to short the down technical structure on the USD CAD 15 minute chart? Or should we just short the short term downtrend, right? Which is still okay. Downtrend line. Something like this, not this one. Black one, everybody. Do you recall the classes before everybody we were talking about market structure and how to spot, come on, trading view. And now extension, retracement, extension. And we were learning about how to spot, right? Passion, how do we know that we're in extension? How do we know that we're in a retracement, you know? And the answer was, we are going to see a change in the short-term trend. Remember, everybody? Now, today we are talking about uptrends and downtrends, you know, how to spot them, how to identify them before we trade everybody does this make sense to you that we can short the red line and we can also short the blue line so let's say that we enter somewhere in here okay this is going to be our entry text entry short or sell for the beginner traders. Okay. Now the question is, are we shorting? As a beginner trader, I need to make a decision. Am I shorting the red line? As you can see it in here, or am I shorting the blue line, which is the short term downtrend? is your choice everybody do you want to short the red one this is the live market right right now do you want to short the red one or do you want to short the the big one you know which is different colors blue pink green and orange two different patterns and after this answer everybody we are going to have different stop loss levels right and we are going to talk about the probability. More safe to trade the big one. Yes, Pesego, what if you don't have enough capital to trade the big one? Yes, makes sense, right? The blue line, the short-term trend, is the structural part of the big one, of the overall trend. So hopefully everybody, as beginner traders, we are learning that not all lows and highs are equal. Not all highs and lows are relevant. Okay, so what is the learning point today? I cannot just blindly sell or buy anything. In, you know, we need to know, we need to make sense out of what are we trading where are we trading you know and as you talked about we're going to learn more stuff in uh, in the future lessons you know but we are at the very 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 beginning lesson six traders are not going to like this i'm telling you everybody if you don't get the basics not rsi no MACD, no stochastic no super gp 
more than Chase Forex robot is going to help you. Right chart that everybody. If you don't learn the basics, you know, nothing is going to help you. You know, it's a learning process, everybody. You need to learn, like in school, you know, you cannot jump from the first grade to the sixth grade. You need to go first grade, second grade, third grade, step by step. Okay. So, Pesigo, more safe. Okay, now days where would you put your stop loss everybody where would you put your stop so we have two different patterns right now let's the red one let me see if this is a lower low lower low and no it's not so this trend line stays like this okay this trend line stays like this Okay, any candles I didn't break any wicks okay now let's make a pull everybody okay where should the so we are going to short the market first okay we are shorting the red line the short should the stop loss go up in here just an example you know SEC land, the name of a book for beginners, please. Oh man, now you got me. Let me think I'm going to be back tomorrow. I need to think about, really, you know? Okay. So let's say everybody that we shorted the market in here, okay? This was our entry. We cannot just enter blindly, but we shorted the market in here, right? So where should the stop loss go should the stop loss go up in here or should the stop loss go up in here or should the stop loss go up in here what do you think no it's not the same this makes all the difference stop loss number one Shorting the short-term downtrend on USD CAD 15-minute chart. Clone. This would be stop loss number two. And tricky question. This would be the stop loss number three up in here. Stop loss number three. Everybody, what do you think? And don't be shy, everybody. This is there is no right, there is no right or wrong. Okay, we are here to learn. Okay. Don't be shy, everybody. You can ask him, right? Basically, I start reading the candlestick trading Bible by Muneshia Homa. It's a good book for beginner on my offer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pesigo. If anybody has any other books you can share, please. And it's for books, everybody. If you know any books for beginners, literature, please share. In the meantime, FX Spider number two, Zuelius number two. Right? Now, Let's clarify the question, right? If this is the if this is the short-term downtrend, right? Okay, if this is the downtrend line, and we have a kind of a break, but not really, right? Something like this. This would be the example, right? Okay, and this is the downtrend line. Okay, for the beginner traders, this is the question, you know, are you familiar with, so it's a concept, not a rule, concept, it's a trading concept, 
trading concept. Cut your losers as soon as possible. Okay, according to the pattern traded. Okay, cut your losers. It's a general concept according to the pattern traded. So meaning meaning where is the show me where is the market going to show me where is the market going to show me that the pattern is not valid more anymore everybody it's a trading concept look at theory look here at the lows and the highs okay the concept is stating cut your loser as soon as possible yes there is a part missing this is the missing part according to the pattern traded so what are we shorting right now in this example are we shorting a down market wave are we shorting a down market structure or are we shorting with this are we shorting this short term downtrend what's the pattern everybody if you are a beginner trader i promise you if you can get this from this lesson today then your trading is going to improve okay it's a mindset it's not all charts believe me it's a mindset it's how we think what is this pattern called everybody and if i need to cut my losers as soon as possible you know where is the market going to show me that the pattern is not valid anymore so very slowly what are we shorting in here the market is moving you know highs and lows and everything and a little bit sideways and it broke kind of you know kind of false breakout not confirmed yet and everything but nonetheless what are we shorting what is the pattern there says short and downtrend very good short and downtrend so what is the definition of the downtrend spider what is the definition of the downtrend from the beginning of this lesson what is the definition of the downtrend In the meantime, highs and lows, lows and highs, you know, high relevant highs and lows. Spider, what is the definition of the short term downtrend? Everybody else, if you were late to the class, if you were late to class, where are the drawings? Oh, there you go. those are the definitions okay after class you can watch the recording everybody take a screenshot of these concepts if you are a beginner trader of course you know about we are beginners here you know we are not professionals yet right what do we know <laughs> i know <laughs> I will need to watch this lesson later again. I'm not 100% of this one. What is the definition of a downtrend? Where the market made the minimum two lows and two highs. The second high are a lower low and a lower high. You know? Makes sense, everybody? So how are you going to answer the question? Where is the... So if a downtrend... Let's bring this down, right? If this is the definition... What is a downtrend where the market made minimum two lows and two highs? We have more where the second low and the second high are lower highs and lower lows. If this is the definition, where is the market going to show me that the pattern downtrend is not valid anymore? And look at the chart and you are going to see, you are going to see 
try to translate everybody those stop loss number one stop loss number two stop loss number three try to translate this to this chart down here theory how would you answer the question which stop loss Spider, the recent confirmed lower high. So, great answer. Great answer, Spider. So, between stop loss number one, stop loss number two, stop loss number three. Oh, come on. Do you need to tell everything, you know? <laughs> come on. Don't. Don't tell all my secrets, right? I'm a beginner trader, everybody, as you are. Spider, stop loss number two. What about the stop loss number one? So let's make it in reverse. You know, Spider, you are the teacher. I'm the student. You know, teacher, why not stop loss number one? Significant hand, thank you very much. I'm new to trading view. You gave me 500 coins. I have no clue what is this. But thank you. I'm going to give it back to you if, if I can, you know. Thank you very much. Why not stop loss number one? What, what's wrong with this one, right? What's wrong with this one? Is this not a relevant high or whatever? Because top loss one has taken our low. Very good. Congratulations to you, Spider. Exactly. You are learning. Congratulations. You know, what confirms a high or the low is the next extension or the next retrace. For you, everybody, what if this market would made a lower low like this would would it still be stop loss number two spider would this everybody if this is your first time please please watch the recordings from the lesson number one no stop loss number one exactly congratulations to you Everybody, we have three more minutes. Is it clear today? What was the lesson about? Do you understand how to spot and identify uptrends, downtrends? Hopefully, you understand why we lose so many times as beginner traders. We are going long on something that it's not. We are shorting the market on thinking that is something with it where it's really not you know so one more time before we finish for today everybody as beginner traders we lose many times because we are shorting we are selling the market say thanks to significant Han yes someone appreciating thank you significant Han I would like to give it back to you so thank you very much thank you very much how how can i thank you back guys i'm married okay <laughs> so no strange you know ideas here please <laughs> you know okay just joking so the lesson today you know as beginner traders, yeah, you can laugh at me, no problem, you know. 
as beginner traders many times we lose because we sell we go short on a downtrend or something that we think it's a down really not it's a lack of vision or an education of course so you know we are here to educate right and in a downtrend, you know, overall, general, long-term downtrend, as beginner traders, advanced traders, so traders, we go long or short on a retracement too, but as we talked about today, everybody, step by step, okay? My job is to make traders like FX Spider and, you know, everybody else in here. I'm sorry, I don't remember all the names to make a better trader you know let lose less make sense of the losers so in order to start making you know but it's a process it's not going to happen from one day to another okay allow yourself a year okay to 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 learn so one more time you know as beginner traders we are going long we are buying something lack of vision lack of education whatever you know and you know i'm going here you know and i'm going to lose and i i don't know right what is happening but this was a part of this red structure technical red structure okay everybody thank you for your time thank you for your trust okay i need to go and see you back tomorrow so you know i love give you homework right you are in a course so homework homework Right to spot and identify different trends on the currency pair and time frame of your choice. No, and one more time if you have guys, if you have boys and girls, right? Not just guys, boys and girls. If you have questions send me a chart you know send questions okay we are trying to help the trading view community here okay so homework try to spot and identify different trends on the curve of your choice okay just an example what the, you know euro aud what you know euro aud euro aud you know to our chart you know, you can play around, you know, train your visual, you know. You can go Euro AUD to or going to spot something. You are going to change from the two chart on the same currency pair. You are going to spot something different. And you are going to go from the daily to the monthly. You are going to see something different again. Okay, everybody, our time is up. See you back tomorrow. Until tomorrow, stay strong and trade with passion. Thank you.